to, to take an advantage. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. Hamster in the World Championships was... Um, you know, not his finest performance. I don't think that's what he necessarily wants to define his Hearthstone career because even though top eight at Worlds is, is an incredible achievement, um, the level of play that he, he played while he was there was you know, definitely not his finest. I think today he is definitely doing uh, a very solid job. And, you know, what more can you really want than to draw Barnes in your opening hand? Well, som sometimes. I mean, Big Priest is one of the best decks in Wild. In my opinion, I think this would be... Uh, Definitely on the consideration of one of the, the tier one decks, but Lich King and Yasharaj have now joined the opening hand, and those are two of the minions that you really like to see against Druid. One of them is just very large and has taunt. The other one is very large and summons the rest of your guys that have taunt. <laughs> um, so I am a little bit worried for Hamster in this one, and this now his remaining uh, gas for this is Ragnaros and a couple copies of Obsidian Statue. So, you know, still looking... Like, some pretty good minions are left in the deck, but, you know, hold on if you, if you find a, a Ragnaros on the next draw. Like, that would be disaster. I mean, Obsidian Statue is a 9 mana cost minion, but what you want in this matchup is, is pressure. You want threats on board very quickly. And Obsidian Statue, whether it's a 4-8 or a 4-2, doesn't really matter because four damage per turn is going to be significantly less uh, than the power from a Ragnaros, a Lich King, or a Yasharaj. Here we go. Obsidian Statue, so... That is a, a bit of a miss. So now that Hamster doesn't have like, a super giant power spike with this, you know, again, he's not facing off against aggression. So for Jinsu, this is little skin off his back, I'd say. Um, the plan for Hamster, I think, has to be to compound the pressure in multiple ways at some point. Like he needs, you know, waves of minions, turn yeah. after turn after turn, to really get this job done. So like I, I see this Eternal Servitude here, and while it's pretty hard to pass this up. You know, I'm curious, can he ever pass this up and try to maybe wait for that Shadow Essence, see if he can hit a Ragnaros, maybe get a couple Ragnaros online at some point. This Priest deck does have an incredible amount of reload onto the board, but it's not infinite. Uh, it is very much finite, and because Hamster does not have those Diamond Spellstones just yet, he isn't looking at the capability to resurrect any more minions uh, than that Eternal Servitude gave him. So I agree. I do think that there was definitely uh, some merit to holding on to oh. that. That's the rag draw. And Hamster, he sh I mean, he wow. just shifted uncomfortably. Like, this is, this is the complete opposite of what you want to happen. You know, there are effectively three copies of Patches in his deck in this matchup. Oof. It's the Ragnaros, the Lich King, and Yasharaj. All the rest of them, you, you don't mind drawing. But those three in particular now make this match a lot more difficult for Hamster to win. It's not horrible. He is getting to the late stages of, of the game where he's just going to be able to play Ragnaros, the Lich King, and Yasharaj. But again, you want to be cheating out these minions from turn four because the Druid's going to ramp its mana curve and, and cheat the game that way. You need to cheat your curve by barnsing out minions, shadow essencing out minions, and getting those very strong minions online. Uh, before the Jade Druid has access to all of its Jade pressure. Yeah, once it, once it, once Jade Druid starts going, that's when you can find yourself in a lot of trouble. Like when your Ragnaros, when your Yasharaj, when your Lich King are just straight up contested by Jades. Like mm. that's when it starts getting really out of hand. So Hamster will absolutely want to find uh, copies of that Lesser Diamond Spellstone going forward. He needs to get this Rag Lich King down. Um, as quickly as possible, and then when they die, if he's able to upgrade those uh, spell stones, he will be able to build up large boards of minions with just that one card. I think this was a, a bit of a miss here for Jinsu. So Death at Rattle ordering, he could have traded the 2-2 into the 5-5 five five to mm -hmm. start with, and what would have happened was as he killed the 4-8, since the 4-8 Death Rattle was first into play, it would act wouldn't actually see the minion that uh, Aya made in mm -hmm. that situation. So uh, that 5-5 five five could be a bit weaker right now could be potentially threatened by that 3-3 Jade on the board, uh, which is very relevant. And Hamster picking up the Obsidian Statue off the top of the deck, that leaves him with just a single Obsidian Statue left in the deck. Yeah, so even Yasharaj getting quite a bit of its punch taken away here. And now, look at this. Swipe lined mm -hmm. up, got the Jade Spirit right on time, and this rolls directly into Ultimate Infestation. So now Hamster's minions are pretty much checked for the next two or three turns. The only way this works is if Hamster nails the 4-4 and Jinsu fails to find follow-up with this ultimate station. I mean, eight to face is nice, but uh, 
not when you'd rather be clearing minions off and you you don't really want to get to this position where Ragnaros is forced to clear. You'd like to just have it down early on, have multiples of it if possible, and, and end this game very, very quickly. But now Jinsu is going to be able to oh my. really go equal with these Jade Golems as they are getting so large. Yeah, this is going to get out of hand real quick. Jinsu has a fantastic suit of cards to fight against this. Now, Psychic Scream, I will admit, is a card that can really change that. Because if Jinsu ever finds himself making too many Jades at once, or finds himself making uh, a bunch of Spreading Plague tokens or something like that, the spreading the Psychic Scream can really mess up the draws from Jinsu. So that is uh, one of the kickers to look out for. Of the this is just, this feels bad. This had better be one hell of a Death Knight card. And Death and Decay is, is very strong, don't get me wrong. But I think here Hamster was looking more for Frostmourne. I, I, I don't even know what, what helps at this point, to be perfectly honest. It's just... It's, it's just <laughs> a it's lot brutal. of stuff on board. Yeah, and wise of Jinsu to uh, clear off minion in this, in this fashion. You know, don't just like do something weird with branching pass and train your Jade Spirit. This helps fight against Psychic Scream. Oh dear. Yeah, it, this is a definite oh dear scenario. I mean, Light Bomb is going to be a clear on any golems that are on the board at all times. But Hamster, unless he finds another Eternal Servitude, isn't going to be able to clear a board and develop his own board at the same time. There's there's copies of Resurrect um, in the build as well, which yep. can be quite valuable. But he is going to need a swing turn like that, where you Light Bomb, clean up the full board from your opponent, and then are able to summon... You know, ideally, two minions of your own. Yeah, two other things to note, too, is that there's two copies of Poison Seeds and a Lotheb in Jinsu Zack. And all of those cards can be really hard hitting in the right scenarios versus Big Priest. And any time that, that Hamster has a big diamond spellstone, it means that Jinsu can threaten Poison Seeds to counteract that. The poison Seeds then start to mess with the uh, the minion summon pool as well for like further spellstones. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Jinsu also has the Lotheb. So if Hamster is looking to try to bait Jinsu into overcommitting, Lotheb can completely shut that down and just end up killing Hamster instead. This is a game where if it isn't, you know, the big priest pretty decisively in the lead early on, um, the Jade Druid is is just 100% going to take this yeah. one in the late game. And this was despite the, uh, the Barnes early on. The Barnes early on was not able to pull enough weight. Barnes on four is not an automatic game win. And it's not that Obsidian Statue is a bad card. It's absolutely necessary. Um, you know, up against aggressive decks, it's going to be the best card in your deck. But unfortunately for Hamster, this just wasn't the scenario that it was going to shine in. Yeah, it's looking real tough to get out of this one. Branching Pass is very scary. So I'm, I'm eyeing some form of removal here and then trade in some fashion or maybe uh, like a like a pair of shadow like a shadow or death combined with something else but mm. hamster is just his back is against the wall and the key is that he's just going to be burning all of this removal turn after turn and not really making progress if he's forced to light bomb this turn he loses yasharaj and again he hasn't had a diamond spellstone in hand this whole game that he's been upgrading for that one big board okay Wanting to hold on to Yasharaj, I certainly understand that, as it's his only threat available right now. I absolutely would not be letting Yasharaj go. <laughs> I mean, you can... Yeah, yeah, okay. Spear Lashes, too. It connects, so... He that, finds the math. Yeah, that is that is a big point of progress here for Hamster. I mean, that is the kind of turn he needs to really get a foothold in this game. But nothing left. Imagine if he had one minion left in his deck. I know. Jinsu having a very difficult time dealing with a single minion right now, let alone two or three. The fact is that Hamster just drew too many minions this game. Yeah, and really the only burst that's in Hamster's deck is quite literally either Lich King cards or a Resurrect on uh, Ragnaros at this point. So I'm curious where Jinsu really wants to take this and how low on his life total he's willing to go in the matchup. There really isn't burn from hand, except for Resurrections onto Ragnaros. Looks like this branching path is set to draw. There's an ultimate infestation in hand, though. How much do you really want to draw? Well, he found a Jade Idol, so the Jade Idol means instantaneously that you're free to armor after that. And yeah. I, he probably would have armored anyway. And now he's got a lot of Jade Idols in deck, and he's got ultimate infestation online. So, you know, despite his life total being quite, you know, dwindling at this point, 
Well. One in however many to get Ragnaros, and there. then one in four to win the game. So Barnes, Lich King, Ragnaros, and Obsidian Gideon Statue, Statue are in the pool. So it's 25% of 25% would be the odds. He can make that 25% total. Of 100%. Oh, oh dear. I knew Even by the frowny face it wasn't Ragnaros, but I did not suspect that one. If that was Lich King, Ragnaros, not even Obsidian Statue there wouldn't have been terrible, but this is game losing. Just drawing the 9 and 8 Jade Golem. That's fine. You got time to play him. And what's Hamster uh, doing about it? This is how Hearthstone was intended to be. <laughs> Just big stuff crashing into each other. Eventually, the guy with the bigger stuff wins. Yashiraj? Yeah, that one's not so good. Pulls all the Jade stuff out of your deck, and you don't want to do that. You want to play the Jade stuff. So we're going to hold on to him. The circle of life is How big are we thinking golems are getting this game? Um, well, they're not 13, gonna get, 13, maybe? I think, I think that's probably the cap. I mean, I just, it's just going to end. Yeah. I wonder when Hamster's just going to... Yikes. Not want to play this one anymore. It's got light bomb, so. Wow. Uh, light bomb, greater healing potion. Light bomb, shadow word horror. There's the shadow word horror. It looks like he wants to hold off on the light bomb for a turn. I definitely don't blame him for that because um, the way that the, the obsidian statue is lining up right now is it looks quite dangerous mm -hmm. for Jinsu to just. You know, just attack outright, so he has to play more stuff to try to mitigate it so he can push damage. Now, seeing how Jinsu's played, I'm not convinced he's going to even consider that. I think he's just going to, like, play one of the big J golems crash and then, you know, start using his hero power. Yeah. Play the 8-8. Eight, eight. Run in. Hero power. Hit face. This board is likely enough to get you there. So you don't really need to extend uh, much more. If Hamster doesn't have the light bomb, you win anyway. Eight too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, 10 to nice. Wow, it's a 10 6, so that's. Yeah, I'm just armor fine. up. Fine, yeah. I think, I think it's quite wise for Jitsu to armor up. One of the only ways he loses is this miracle Ragnaros outcomes at this point. So get yourself. You know, at those awkward stone. life totals if possible. Jeez. That's, that's the wrong one in this matchup, that's for sure. Again, well, there's Lich a 12 King would have been pretty good. Your prediction was 13-13. We're, we're one off. Might have been too low. Doesn't usually get much bigger than that in any game. It's pretty tough to get bigger than that. I mean, once the 13 13s they're usually just dead. You just hit them in the face and I mean, how, win how the much game. more how much more trading can you do? There's a certain point Infinite where Infinite trading. <laughs> JK, certain, 90 turns of trading. There's a certain point where they're just big enough to one shot them. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. There's always a chance. Oh, no. Resurrect Barnes again. No, that's not supposed to happen. Aye, aye, aye. All right, let's get the spellstone off the top. Let's try this again. Holy smokes. This is, that's the worst thing that could possibly happen. Yes, that is actually the worst thing that could possibly happen. Jinsu is going to take his time and try to figure this one out. Hmm. It looks like he's losing some Jade Golems. I'm going to take a peek at the next card first. How many Jade Idols does he have left in deck? Uh, four, I believe. Maybe more. Okay. Lotheb inconsequential pretty much at this point. Hamster is... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just don't know what he draws to, to win. It's got to be like a Ragnaros Lich King and then something crazy. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, Ragnaros doesn't even kill the Jade Golems anymore. That's terrifying. My thoughts are plagued. He's gonna gain armor. Wow. I don't want to lose. Oh yeah, I think die. this is wise too. If this is 12, 12 bites the dust to the first death rattle, then that means there's at least seven damage lined up. So he just wants to completely mm. shut off any possibility that Hamster can his life total at this point. And I think this is quite wise. Jinsu knows that the only way he loses is by some strange miracle pressure point. And he was able 
Another, another diamond spell stone. Statues. There's always a chance. Finally hit that rag. Think wise to use the armor in the fashion that he did. Now he's got the old poison seeds. I'll take care of this wave and let's go ahead and defend ourselves. And even if Hamster finds another spell stone off the top, there is another poison seeds. But there is a fourth spell stone in the deck. Remember, both the first ones were from Shadow yeah. Visions. Mm -hmm. There is. So it's not impossible. But that, that is nothing. a zero zero. That is actually six mana. Meh. That's it. Just six mana spell. We're not playing Dragon Call or Alana in this deck. We're not playing Yogg. There's your 13-13. Okay. <laughs> the tree it's sitting there is just so funny. Leaves the golem with five health still even if it hits it. Oh my god. That Jay golem just tanks it. Well, they got bigger. All right. I'll accept defeat. Looks like the two of you did not coordinate that at all. <laughs> you have been. What? One pip? 14-14. I'm so close. Jitsu. Very decisive game number one. Um, a lot of that boiled down to how Hamster's hand ended up panning out, but you can see how the game plan is meant to be executed. I think even if Hamster had had a, 